Hey guys, Lay Boy Scout here with a quick review of the Spec Ops brand Recon Wrap. It's a bit more than a bandana. It's eight functions in one, and you know, a lot of bandanas have a lot of functions. So, well, is that really something special? Let's get into it and see. Around the time of the USNER doc um, contest, where he was asking everybody to show the, show their uh, EDC system, and um, it was sort of the you know, the off-the-cuff kind of what do you got in your pockets today kind of, uh, you know, nothing fancy style gear check. Um, around that time, I was watching so many different EDC videos and uh, really learning a lot of stuff. In that time, I added a number of things to my EDC system, and one of those was a bandana. Another one of those was a water bottle. But a bandana, so easy to carry, goes right in your back pocket, and um, has a lot of uses, really especially for hiking and being outdoors. A uh, number, number of ways to use this thing as just kind of a wipe for your face when, you get super, when you're getting super sweaty to absorb sweat. I mean, you could tie it up and put it around as a headband to uh, you know, kind of prevent sweat from coming down into your eyes. So many first aid applications and um, a great way to, in general, kind of stay cool. Uh, one thing I have seen done and like to do uh, if I'm uh, Hiking away, hiking away and getting just roasting hot. I like to open this thing up and kind of make it into something I can tie around my neck. Uh, sort of a kerchief like thing, you know, sort of roll that up like so. Uh, get it soaking wet in a field or a stream or with whatever. Field or a stream? <laughs> in a river or stream or waterfall or lake or whatever I have nearby. And, uh, get that thing all wet and nice and cool or use my water bottle if that's all I've got and then tie this around my neck and uh, not super tight but you know loosely enough that it will cool you down because it's a fact that a lot of your heat escapes from your head and your neck so um, if you want to get cool quick cool your neck down and keep it cool and pretty soon I mean I've in my experience in a recent hike that I had actually I did that exact same thing I uh, got this thing soaking wet and I was pretty hot coming down the trail. Um, got this thing soaking wet, had it around my neck for the rest of the way down. And by the time I got to the car, I was almost ready to start shivering. Seriously. <laughs> I wanted to turn the AC off as quick as I could. Or, well, I you know, ended up just removing this because my uh, hiking companions didn't have one of these around their neck. So I just took it off again. But, like I said, it's a great way to keep cool. Having a bandana... Um, in the outdoors or just as an EDC item is a great idea. So I was interested, quite interested by this. It's a bandana but a bit more than a bandana or is it a bit less than a bandana? Let's uh, look at it and just kind of figure that out. Well obviously if you're using a, a plain old bandana you've got a big square piece of cloth. Okay, uh, so A lot of things you can do with this. Yeah, a lot of first aid applications for this. Uh, a lot of ways that you can tie it, fold it, um, and use it in general. This, however, is not one big square piece of cloth. This is sort of a tube thing going on here. And it stretches. Bandanas don't generally stretch, so that's interesting. Yeah, so it's kind of a tube thing going on. All right, well, what's the point of that? What's the point of having a tube instead of one big uh, piece of cloth, just one big cut-out piece of cloth? Are there advantages to this? Let's uh, show you some pictures and some of the ways that uh, Spec Ops recommends that you use the recon wrap. Clearly here on the front cover this guy is using it as a dust mask. What else? Okay, you got the dust mask. You got this one which uh, covers up your goggles so you know you're a soldier in the field and you've got goggles over your helmet. Cover up your goggles to keep them from getting filthy so that they're preserved and they're ready to use uh, when you need them. Okay, cool. By the way, how much does this weigh? Does it weigh about as much as a bandana? This is a thick cotton bandana, by the way, made by Abercrombie and Fitch. It's high quality and very old and still hanging in there. This is pretty thin. What is this? What is it made out of? Okay, it says that it's made out of high-tech polyester microfiber. Okay, that's interesting, I guess. But, you know, what I know is that it stretches, so that's cool. And what are some of the other uses for it? Well, we've got a balaclava. Okay, that kind of works. I tried that out. It kind of works. The ops mode, which uh, seems to work okay. The sweatband. Okay, that yeah, I can see that. That makes a lot of sense. 
helmet liner. Okay, cool. I don't wear a helmet in anything that I do, but I can see how that would work as a helmet liner. A neck gaiter, sure, definitely. And a Sahara mode, which, you know, basically just kind of the bandana. Uh, and I've tried all these out. They all seem to work pretty well. I haven't tried this out, obviously, because I don't have any goggles. Um, but they all seem to work pretty well. So, and you know what? I also kind of dig the red color, personally, because um, I like uh, I like the high visibility of it. You know, blue is cool too. It's kind of low vis and easy to carry around. But uh, the high visibility of red is pretty useful, in my opinion. What are some downsides to this sort of tubular design? Can I use this in all the same first aid kind of ways? I kind of don't think so. It doesn't stretch as much this way. So tying this around a wound, well, that's about as, well, let's see here. That's about as much space as you got, and that's barely, I don't know, that's barely my arm, okay? So if I had some sort of wound on my arm, eh, it might work for that, barely. Uh, anywhere else on your body, not really. As far as the standard bandana, well, you've got quite a bit, quite a bit more uh, reach. I mean, the fact that this goes all the way around my neck, and you know, you've got smaller ends to tie. So it's a bit easier to get a nice little knot there and this kind of large area. That would go around my thigh, guys. That would, uh, that would, that would help to uh, stop the bleeding on a wound on my thigh. So, you know, the first, a the first aid applications that a standard bandana has, um, I think are pretty neat and kind of important. And I don't think that this has quite all of those. Then again, maybe the stretchiness. Oh, let's see, I'm kind of going back and forth. <laughs> I'm kind of going back and forth here. Maybe the stretchiness, you bring it together like this, maybe you can get that over a larger wound. But I don't think it'll give you quite the pressure and the option for pressure that this gives you. Overall, if you don't mind um, not having the capability of turning your, your EDC bandana, EDC handkerchief, into a wide open cloth like this, if you don't mind losing that capability, if you don't mind that, I think this is a pretty cool bandana. I've carried it around, I've used it in the outdoors and uh, as an EDC item, and I feel like it's pretty cool. And a number of the non-emergency, pretty much all of the non-emergency uses that I have for a regular bandana are filled just perfectly with this. And possibly a little bit uh, more comfortably and um, you know, easily. Around the neck to keep it cool, sure. Headband, sure. Everything else that you would use this for, use a regular bandana for, pretty much, pretty much. Look in annotation for the price of this thing. I think it's kind of a neat bandana. If you're interested in it, go check it out. Again, it's the Spec Ops Recon Wrap. I'm the late Boy Scout. We'll talk to you later.